Danilo Fernando gives it away to Zadkovic. Can he get one in on his left foot? It's not a bad cross either. And the follow-up from Talley. They can't clear their lines. Persik Kadiri. Torica will try his luck on the left. Well, that was brilliant work from Ruben Zadkovic. A real injection of confidence for the young player, the Oli Roo. A very dangerous ball. How long before he brings on one of his substitutes? The Pacey Adam Casey or a Luca Glavas? Can you see them? Coming on shortly? Or? Uh, certainly an injection at some point. There's no way you could play this whole match without utilising your bench. Here's Zadkovic. Again on the left. Not a bad cross either. Sandy with a save. He's been good today, Alex Brosk. Save for that one incident where he was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Good header. Good save from Sandy. Fife to Corica. Nice ball to Brosk. Showing a few tricks to Yuli. Patience shown from Alex Brosk. But it's all the way back to Rudin, who's under a little bit of pressure and beaten to it by Gonzalez. Top all Stanley in cover. And he did very well, big Nikolai Top all Stanley. Well, Gonzalez obviously lethal in front of goal, but he hasn't got a lot of range to his game. He was quids in there to get a good shot on goal. Mark Rudin getting himself all tangled up on the centre circle. Top or Stanley. Well, it was no contest when he was engaged. A wasteful again from Sydney. Fife with an ambitious try. Saw the keeper off his line. <laughs> Nearly the blooper of all bloopers for Sandy. who got stuck in the net in the end anyway. Corica making the run. Played behind Brosk. Look at the pace from Berta. And Zadkovic is in trouble. He's going to pick up a yellow card. That's his second as far as my maths is concerned. Disaster for Sydney FC. Just as Branko Kalina was preparing a double change, Ruben Zadkovic has become Sydney's first player to be sent off in the AFC Champions League. He was given a working over at right back in the first half. And now problems for him at left back. And Sydney down to 10 men when they need all three points. And Branko Kalina will think twice about a double substitution now. Here's Fagundes, trying his luck. Corica into Zrilic. Here's Casey. The fresh legs of Adam Casey getting the better of Errol Eber. David Zrilic has found its way through to Carney. Spinning away and good defending in the end to see it out for a corner. Oh, they're desperate at Sainuri again. But whether it's one yard or five yards or six yards or ten yards, in the final analysis, the Kadiri defenders really know how to scramble. And a chance for Persic Kadiri to break here. He's done well. Buddy Sudasono get it through to his other Buddy. Ball in behind. Here's Fagundes looking for the run and back across. Cliff Bolton and in. Persik Kadiri hit the front against 10 man Sydney FC. Another shock on the cards in Group E. Well, you can call it a shock. 
or you can risk complete hyperbole and say it's a disaster for Sydney FC. So many good things they've done in the match. And for Gundes, perhaps unsurprisingly, with the assist and the substitute, international. Woody off the bench, his fourth goal of the season. Bolton can do nothing again. Sydney stand watching. And how will Ruben Zadkovic be feeling? Cooling off in the dressing room. Two yellow cards led to a red card. There's still chances. David Carney testing Sandy. Gonzalez through the middle. Fife. Read it well in the end. Here the instructions are go, 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 but I'll tell your body to do that. For Gundes, a peach of a ball to Danilo Fernando. Side netting. The crowd thought it was in. And will that come back, back to haunt the Brazilian? Rakito is saying just take it around the keeper and finish it, Sydney FC off. And the game, if it wasn't earlier, is apparently ebbing away from Sydney. When in front and with the chance to control the flow of possession, Sydney didn't take the opportunity. Kadiri came back into the match. The fortunes went in opposite directions, due largely to, to the conditions I'd be prepared to say. And Sydney have been really struggling with that facet of the game. You feel sorry for the players in that sense. But again, the preparation would be an interesting talking point. Neatly done from Buddy. And the crowd again thought they were going to see a sensational goal from the substitute. And that's the key word, the substitutes for Kadiri, Woody in particular, have had a serious impact on the game. Sitalius, very left-footed, tried to get back onto his left. And here's a real chance, he's onside. Sitalius winning the race and credit the young man for making up for his mistake.